Okay, welcome to part two of the roof reseal, and that'll obviously include the jai rails as well. So, um, from the previous videos, you can see here we've done these two here. Well, in fact, in fact we've done that jai rail over there, and we've just resealed these two seams. I'm yet to do the jai rail on this side, but what we're going to do is continue removing this bitumen tape. And I've got the fuel and the various tools. So it's this one, that one over here, and the tool, and that one over here. And I don't think there's one on the other side of the hatch. So the aim is get rid of those three. Once I've got rid of those three, before I tackle that one, we'll see how we go. I might actually remove this entire hatch out of the way so I can get to sealing those little edges there cleaning them all up so that way the hatch is done and then I'll move on to here now of course if we're on a roll we might remove that um, last bitumen tape in the front there but either way I want to get the hatch done um, this weekend so again to get rid of this stuff um, like in the previous video we just soak it with fuel I use these tools to remove the top then of course some more fuel to remove the actual um, underlying glue so it can be something like that of course I'm going to clean up all this all the dirt that's left over or the residue I'll clean that up later but that's not a priority but just a quick um, recap on this how to remove this stuff so you can see here what I've done is I literally pour the petrol onto here okay that's what I'm saying about soaking it and what happens after a while is it gets to the glue and I'm able to remove big pieces like that. That saves so much more time. Or else what happens is it does tend to just um, break up um, into smaller chunks. I mean you'll still get that, but you get a bit more success doing it this way. Right, so far half of the first has been removed as I said it's a tedious process but um, there's a, a broken rivet one of them anyway and of course lots of play in there as well this this particular seam is the worst one of the lot in terms of the uh, water seepage if you remember last video I'll show you how I could, I could actually see the water from the inside so we finally got rid of those bitumen tape that I mentioned earlier on. Now the next thing to do is to remove that so I can get to the to each of the four corners of the hatch and then once I've got all that clean we're ready to put the sealant on and then I'll just lift that off and, and move it to the side and for me to do that I'll have to undo these four bolts two on this side and two on the other side and I'm going to have to detach um, this rod here and that pretty much I think um, will allow me to then just lift the entire hatch off and just put it put it aside on the roof until we got all the all these corners done in here with that with the hatch seam is and you can see here a little bit of wetness there that's from the petrol that we've used to clean the outside and you can see it has actually leaked quite a bit and what we're going to do too is obviously get these one two three uh, so far I see three rivets done and so on and so forth and I noticed up here there's no rivets here either from the factory so I'm not sure why they've left that like that and so we're there All right, so I'll get these um, flated screws out of the way first. All right, so taking these out, I've taken the hinge out here, and so now I should theoretically be able to just lift that whole thing off, as you can see here. And I'll just drag it. Gently, lean it back on here, 
So we're now prepping the surface with the hatch out of the way. You can see the gaps there. However, on this side, where there wasn't any of that bitumen tape, we can see that it's actually quite well sealed. See? We still got to obviously put the sealant there and down each of those um, four corners. So yeah, that should be quite, quite sealed by the time we finish it. And I haven't, haven't removed this as yet. Looks like it's, um, it's folded over here and it's um, hammered in place. So I'll have to actually wedge that out. And our main concern at the moment is where they're starting to turn. So the priority now is to clean clean the seams up, clean the corner hatches like we're doing now, and finish the ceiling. I'll just put a hole heap there. Oh, you know what? Okay, ran out of this tube. Okay, so now that I've got that, we just use mineral turps to smooth it out. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, and five seams done. It's looking pretty good now. Hoping that that's going to hold off for many years to come. Obviously when I remove the J rail it's going to unsettle what I've done there and likewise when we take the internal timber out it's most probably going to unsettle here as well so we'll, we'll give it a bit of a, a touch up where needed. But that's it so far, and then now to do the front one. All right, so we've moved the the hatch back over there, held by a couple of planks of wood, so that it doesn't touch the fresh sealant. And now we're on our last tape. And one of the things we've noticed is that occasionally we come across an ant's nest. You know the little tiny ants so that's another reason why not to have something like this in place well at least the weather's improved working on the last one now and the back shot look at how much cleaner it looks now and that's considering that i haven't actually cleaned the roof looking good now Right, very taxing on the hands, but anyway, she's ready to to give one final clean using turps, and then apply the um, the sealant. Oh, shit. I almost fell. Then that wouldn't have been good. Right, so it's been six hours since I started, and now we're complete um, yeah it doesn't look as pretty obviously um, but it's going to do the job I think so that's it that's at least the seams done next step is to um, continue doing the gyre rails all of them at least on the on the roof section anyway and then look at doing the, the hatch 
so that's been a good day today.